Trey Deep has a question. We are currently rolling out teams for a customer. The share to teams button or add in isn't available in Outlook. However, it is available in Outlook on web already logged into teams with the same account as per Microsoft. The add in should get automatically installed. Teams meeting add in is already installed and working. Outlook version used is Microsoft Outlook 2019 MSO. And do I need to read the whole thing? How is it that would, important? No. Okay. It's a 64 bit <laughs> version. Are there any requirements for the office or Outlook version for the add in to be available? I've done some research. However, couldn't find any concrete answers on the versions or requirements for this add in to be enabled by in Outlook. Any help or suggestions would be appreciated. Well, for me, the big tip off is it says Outlook 2019. Uh, <clears throat> Outlook 2019 means that's the MSI version, the standalone that you buy money, uh, you spend money for. This add in, I would be willing to bet you a large sack of potatoes or whatever else happens to suit you that. Uh, that is a click to run M365 only feature. There are a number of them. Primarily, they deal with inter sharing between the various applications. That's why everybody who's doing this sort of thing should be running the, <clears throat> the subscription M365 click to run versions of everything. There just are things that the standalones will not do. Now, of course, he does have the option of going in and looking at his add-ins to make sure that that in, add-in isn't turned off. Um, for for grins, I, I shared uh, with some, I, well, anyway, Christian will, will share some links that I've got on how you turn that, that on and off. That will just appear magically in the blog post and on the YouTube page, yes. Yes, yes, thank you, Christian. Your magic is without question just... <laughs> Beyond I know. question. I know. Yeah. But anyway, the 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 thing of it is that there are some things about turning it on and off, and also some troubleshooting. There is one uh, thing that struck me of note. If everything else was working, and there is a connected experiences button uh, in Outlook, and if you don't have that turned on, you don't get that. But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that would also eliminate the uh, the uh, other Teams button that is currently functional in his in his version. So uh, I'm not real confident that's going to do anything for him. More than likely, it's the fact that he's got the Office 2019 and not 365 click to run. That's that's the biggie for me. Hmm. Yep, I I would agree with that, especially since it said that it is available in Outlook on the web. That's kind of Precisely. like exclu it completely supports that whole theory. I would venture to say if he has the and I don't, I don't know whether the uh, MSI versions get this, but if he's, he's got the little try the new Outlook button, which if you've not looked at Outlook Monarch, um, if you uh, go visit your, uh, your account uh, and uh, via Outlook Web Access and, and turn that into a progressive web app and paste it on your desktop, the two are virtually identical. Yep. yep. In fact, I'm pushing a lot of my clients towards using Outlook on the web and doing exactly what you said, because you can basically pin it on your app bar, just like you would your normal Outlook. Only when you open it, it opens it in the browser version, which means it's not taking as many resources off of your computer. So it works a lot faster. It's a lot lighter. And to House point, all those fancy new features that are super awesome, are a lot of those based. you only get in yep. Outlook for the web. You're not going to get them in an Outlook client app. So it's almost kind of worth your time to to start. Yep, I moved to that ages ago. You guys know that, you know, uh, and I do the same <laughs> thing. So it's a progressive web app. I have it pinned to the bottom. It works just the same. Uh, yeah, and so uh, look, there's some minor differences in uh, between the interfaces, but I've uh, I've stopped complaining because I've forgotten what those other things are because apparently they weren't important enough. I was able to move across entirely, but. Um, it's getting slimmer and slimmer now that they've actually got a, a, a full-fledged ribbon on the uh, on the web app, and for that yeah. matter, in the yeah. Outlook Monarch version, that's it's it's getting fairly cool. I'm yeah, holding no. on to the death the desktop with my death grip because <laughs> well, I will. Too. I have TMA. A mistake. I have TMA. Too many accounts. I can bring multiple accounts into the same environment and cross-reference my calendars and everything all in one place. Instead, and yeah, I do that. So yeah, well, and you can't you can't yeah. do that in the web. Yeah, 
Plus, I don't, don't I don't believe they've got IMAP support in it yet. There's certainly no POP support. Yeah. There's no support for PSD files so that you can do archiving. Whereas poor right. idiots that have got a, a, a an M365 family, that is to say, a fancyoutlook.com account for primary, you only get 50 gigs in space. Finally, well, goodness, 50 gigs. You'd oh, be I had a client that how had. Easy that goes away. I'm I sitting a... at about 95 percent most of the time. I had a client that had 90,000 emails in her inbox and she could, she comes to me. She's like, I can't delete anything. Like, what do you mean you can't delete something? Because it was so full making that little quasi copy oh, between the inbox yeah. and the deleted. Yeah. There was no room, even in her smallest messages. We couldn't, we had to like move things, create a PST, move them out and then delete them. That was the only way we could clean. I but I'm like, why you do you have 90,000 wow. emails? Holy I cow. You might've been able to delete them from the online, but did you oh, try that? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, this was desktop version. I don't know. That was right. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I used to have a mailbox that had a two gig max. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to so those? All we did was delete emails constantly. Yeah. yeah. It's like playing uh, whack a mole. One goes yeah. in, one goes out. One goes Constantly in. Constantly going, going back to your admin <laughs> saying, look, I need more space. I'm locked in. Somebody just sent me massive attachments. That was the problem with that model uh, was that that was in the attachment days. Yes. No, that's what and we that, were teaching. That was early, forever. early links. Yeah. <laughs> Te teaching people how to use links instead of attachments. That's that's a thing to learn very quickly when. But it again, if you're on the receiving end of those attachments, yeah. I had many a conversation with the admin asking for more space just so I could go in and get rid of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety thousand. I'm, I get upset with nine ninety. <laughs> don't yeah. look at my ninety. Then don't don't look at my phone, Sherry. Don't look at my phone. You don't want to know. You don't want to see it. Too many accounts again. <laughs> so yeah. that was my webinar yesterday. It was you know how to get clean out your stuff and get ready for the new year. And of course, Outlook was not happy. So thanks. <laughs>